All right, here we go again. And check out this video game called Chernobylite. All right, so this guy, they're in Pipnyat after the Chernobyl disaster. And that's what this game's pretty much based on. Horror, science fiction, whatever. So this guy, I'm playing, what the hell is his name? Yamachov or Kumachov or Kumyek? I mean, we gave him a what, Russian name? Kuchek? Professor Kuchek? I mean, well, why can't they just have an easy name like Smith or Washington or Jones or something? It'd be a lot easier to remember. Unless, of course, you're looking for video games to give you an education. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this guy, he's doing all this stuff. Uh, what the hell am I looking for again? Food rations. Oh, sh eat those. Definitely. So yeah, you got to feed your crew after uh, every mission. If it fails or successful, or they're going to get mad and you're going to start taking penalties. You know, being all jacked up. Okay, why is this thing give me a big question mark? And I'm like right above it. Okay, let's see if it finds some stairs. Anyway, this guy's looking for a girlfriend that was lost 30 years ago. I think. Okay, why? Okay, here we go downstairs. I'm like, okay. See, bro, she's been gone for 30 years. Okay, so that must make the character minimum maybe 48 but he doesn't look 48 for some bizarre reason i don't know why freaking game and uh this game is just busting my balls so i end up getting pissed off and breaking a controller because of my rage i just don't like being screwed over for unnecessary reason especially in video games. I just won't tolerate it. You know, it makes you want to go to the people's houses that that programmed the game and just punch them and throat punch them several times. Might teach them some goddamn manners. Anyway, so this guy, he's got this big universal fit. Oh, hold on. Come on, I'm still getting used to the goddamn... Troller shit. God damn game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine seconds ago, bullshit. So, uh, so they throw these weird Chernobylite monster assholes at you. And every mission you go out, besides the main missions or the quests, they call them, got to, uh, like parts. You got to get resources to build stuff. So, that's like, okay. And I can't get past the Chernobyl rules. You gotta have a special something to break through that damn thing, so. I won't even be able to get in there. This thing kind of reminds me of this guy I knew in the, in the military. National Guard, folks, National Guard. Yeah, here we go, going off talk about Jeff's war stories. I don't have that many. This guy he went to a... Check some movement just happened.
So you get to shoot these pro government something. I don't know. So yeah, you know, if you're wearing this uh, this handmade body on. Basically, it's a steel plate. You know, raggedy looking vest. I don't even know where this guy's at. And I can't take his resources, I can't find him. So, unlike the ball out games, you know, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Right, let's get out of here. See that little searching thing up on the right hand corner? Upper right hand corner? He's searching for me. And then. 30 something seconds, you would have lost my trail. Yeah, okay, I'm looking for an ammo spot. There it is. See that? See that red smoke? Ammo supply right there. And of course, the area is radioactive. So I'm probably getting all screwed up. Oh, look at that Chernobyl crystal. Look at that. The whole area is, yeah. Can't get any out. And here's the ammunition box. Quest complete. Ammo dropping. Pip yeah. Pip yeah. And got some rifle ammo. Okay, cool. Now then, uh, there's probably no other resources around other than shitload of radio uh, radioactive material. And they show a lot of V8 blocks in the game. I don't know what the hell they go to. So after you do these missions, you can turn around and say, screw it, I'm out. You can bail out if you want to. Oh, and you gotta look out for the storm. There's a black stalker that uh, comes out. And that guy just goes and kills you. Oh yeah, oh hell no. No, 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 we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the beam me up, Captain Kirk. I'm out of here. You're not gonna, yeah, screw you, black stalker. Screw that BS. So this guy, yeah, he's got a Chernobyl weirdo, Chernobylite space-time warp teleporter that he mounted on a screw gun. I mean, you know, a screw drill with the batteries. You know, you charge up the batteries, you put a, a bit on it, do your drilling. That's basically what this guy did, but he put a, some sort of weird Chernobyl stick on it or something, or Chernobylite stick. Anyway, this game is very, very annoying. Very, very annoying because, you know, it's the same uh, four maps over and over. So, you know, there is some areas you can go to, but you have to do the quest. So the non-quest areas, there's about four, and you go and look for resources. The biggest problem with the game is, is food to feed your team. And let me tell you, that shit runs out quick. Okay, success for me. Oliver's got a success for hunting monsters. Same thing with Olga. So now I gotta go to food. I'm going to get half ration, they get full rations. And there we go. I guess food's a bitch to buy, man, in this game. It's annoying. And you can go and do stuff where you can talk to your guys. Oh, this guy, Oliver or Olivier, uh, he's a traitor, by the way. He's paid to spy on you, so I try not... I try not to uh, do too much with that guy anymore. So, what a jerk. 
passing gas. Uh, I'm spying on you, bro. Great, thank you. Save the rifles and stuff like that for other characters, or uh, actually other uh, NPCs. The role in the game that's gonna help you. Gonna help you! What's this battery shit? Your kicks some rifle ammo. Gas cans. Need that to make shit. How about parts? You got parts? Know where to put it? So I would suggest building uh, I suggest building a lot of storage stuff. Uh, let's see, how about some bottle of booze? No. I'm also keep that bottle of booze. Shotgun, ammo. Oh gosh, I actually am running out of places to put this stuff. Damn, dude. Well, better make some more locks. How about this? Gasoline? No, nope, not today. Not today. Um, crafting? You could build crossbows, guns, AKs. You could actually build that shit. And I'm sure causing off rifles would not appreciate you making uh, off license weapons from their designs. I'm pretty sure they'll get pretty bad. <clears throat> Alright, what do I got? More stuff. Uh, herbs, no, no room. A lot of rounds, so. And I said, it looks like you're ready to rock and roll on somebody. So, <clears throat> this game mainly is kind of annoying, so there's really not much I can do about it. Um, geez. There you go. Please get some AK ammo. Gonna need it. <clears throat> well, that's the best I can do. So, uh, you can make um, medicines and stuff with this. Medicines. Rollers. You can make uh, gas mask stuff. Oh, I got more food! My starving days are over! Well, actually, no, they're not. Wait a minute, is that an extra plate? Yep, let's take that. Take that extra plate. We're going to need it. And there's some more AKs. God, I'm so disorganized. Look at this. Disorganized, I tell you. More meds. More gas mask stuff. Shotguns. They allow you to grind down shotguns and pistols and stuff for extra resources. But, you know, why in the hell would you want to grind down some freaking guns for you? That's crazy. Um, like I said, I'm not really fucking fond of this bullshit. This is just busting my ass for no reason. They're busting my balls, bro. So you got a laser cutter over here for stuff. That's for making armor. <clears throat> Actually, I need to make some more lockpicks. And you got Ogla. Where is she? And by the way, no, you don't get to screw her, by the way. She's married. But Olga, we're like way over here. We can go do the Dirty Sanchez. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> there's like no women ever. So I guess Olga is the only one. Olga. Anyway, um... Yeah, this friggin' game, dude. Oh, here we go. Lockpicks. Just in case. Okay, so basically I got everything I need. Wait a minute, do I have to make anything? Anti-radiation stuff. There you go. And what you do is you go in here after you're done. Go inside the room. You can look at silly stuff. 
This guy is so hard up, dude, with this woman. It's disappeared 30 years ago. So, I don't know. Anyway, so this game is called Chernobylite. <clears throat> so far, I'm only at 25% on this friggin' getting the trophies. <clears throat> One gold, three silver, five bronze. Out of how many? I got 4,536 uh, trophies combined. Anyway, this is Jeff the Fero, Jeff the Hat, Jeff the Beret, Jeff the Jerk. Just signing out. Huh?